So, I had a nice five to six hour play session on the first night with Anime Sword Fighter number... Hey, how many is that now? Who cares? Ah, right, thank you. And I decided to give my overall thoughts on the character and everything else that came with him. Or is coming with him. I guess this is also a chance to go over what I got right, what I got wrong, and why the one-winged form leaves me a bit unnerved. Okay, getting it out of the way. I had heard about there only being two me costumes found in some files and thought they would just be for Chocobo and Gino. Surprise, surprise, and disappointment. Okay, I might not have been the only one saying a Tifa and Barrett me costumes would be perfect, but man, I was basically screaming, CALL IT! And I wish I had the guts to have called it a third one, because then the pattern of three to four from a franchise and two returning me costumes would have been complete. I'd have a few more bragging rights, but I just wasn't ready to believe Square Enix was going to give us that many me costumes for Final Fantasy. Which brings up the disappointment. It's not so much the fact that he's a me costume. I think many of us kind of saw that coming. After hearing about two Mii Fighter costumes, I was 95% sure Gino would be one of them. What bothers me though, is that it's the exact same one from before. No upgraded head model, and no remix or music track to go with them. Why was Nintendo going after Beware the Forest Mushroom's music track if they weren't using it, and they didn't even own it in the first place? That alone just baffles me. And to be fair, it doesn't even seem like it would have been hard to have upgraded his costume either, and given him a full head like Sans, Cuphead, Volpoy, and Bomberman. So yeah, that was the most disappointing thing to me in the whole presentation. The only other thing that bothered me was that everything else, besides Sephiroth and the classic route for him, was coming on the 22nd, but that's not a big problem for me. I can wait. So, what did I get right? Well, besides the name of his attacks, which I got completely wrong, I pretty much caught the exact button placements. His spells do leave him wide open, and his stage basically has things going on in the background, and they don't really interact with the players. But there's a number of things I got wrong as well, so let's go over them. Yes, he can run. No, he's not the slowest. He doesn't have a bad recovery, but he does have lots of end lag, so that was the one that was correct. I only got one taunt right, and that was this one. This one was shown, but I didn't think it was a taunt, more like an activation. I was wrong. His counter is not a reflector, but it will block projectiles unless it overpowers it, which is pretty nice, kind of balanced in that way. Kind of like Pit and Dark Pit's down special, but against physical attacks instead. Also, how does he turn to the screen and away from it like he does in the trailer? I didn't even see that in the idle animations. I wish I called this as his victory animation, but I didn't. Kudos to those who did. Also, I guess I did get this part right. That's not his dash attack. This one is. I love the fact that his final smash can have random effects on other players. And I believe that it was Ginga Man Prime in the Discord that found out that if Jigglypuff gets the shield break, they will instantly die like they always do. I was wondering what his classic route would be and if it would be him versus all the bad guys in Smash. Instead, we get a boss rush mode for one character only. I'm not sure how to feel about that. In theory, it makes sense, but in practice, it's kind of a letdown. Having one of the most iconic bad guys in final bosses in video games taking on the bosses in Smash Ultimate? Makes sense to me, but I'm pretty sure nearly everyone is thinking, why can't I just have a boss rush mode instead? And I do have to side with that question. It's better than nothing, but... Hey, come on now. It turns out Sephiroth has his own spirit in the game that isn't just a Smash render. How about that? And it looks like Square was more than cooperative this time, as now there are a bunch of spirits that we'll see. There's at least two pages worth. I saw it on Twitter. I don't know why I still have an account there. I was honestly wondering if we would get more than three spirits. Not only that, but the music this time. Nine more tracks with four remixes! It now has more remixes than Sonic! Ouch! But still not as many music tracks as the Blue Blur. But no other third party character will come within miles of Terry. Happy to see One Winged Angel in there twice! The original and the Advent Children one. Which, yes, does come from a movie, but the movie is based heavily on a game. So I have no issues with that. It is kind of impressive that they did get the full song. What happened to the DK rap? Oh, almost forgot! The Sephiroth Challenge! If they did this every time, I might get annoyed with it, but it's based on the idea of beat the boss, unlock the boss. 
You'll still get him when he launches with everything else, but the idea was unique and fun to try out. It's like getting a DLC boss fight, but once it's the 22nd, it's gone. It's easy to recreate, but let's face it, you like the menu display and the sound effects from Final Fantasy VII. Even beating it on easy mode allows you to unlock him, but the fun is doing it on very hard, with as many characters as you can. I won't blame you for cheesing it, it's fun to see how fast you can take him down, or what the best strat is for actually doing it the fair way. My best time so far is 1821 with Pac-Man, but I was fearing him to death. I hear the best time is around 3 seconds with Meat Fighter. It's a shame we won't get a leaderboard for this since it won't be around for very long, so try to have as much fun with this as you can. Even if you can, just make a simple rule set for it later. Oh, and for the record, when I beat him the first time on Very Hard, it was with Cloud, and for some reason it felt super easy. If anybody else had that same experience, I'd like to hear it in the comments below. In my time playing as Sephiroth, I had some moments, was actually able to get that Shadow Flare kill, and a Stage Spike, which are actually pretty difficult to get. Giga Flare's extremely short range caught me by surprise, but I love using it as an edge guarding tool. He almost can't get away from it. The range and power he has are fun to mess around with. We haven't come across a lot of setups for his attacks yet, but I'm sure the best players have already found a number of them. The one thing that actually scares me a little is the winged form mechanic for one reason, and it's not because it can be OP. It's because it's nearly identical to what I gave to Lloyd in his moveset video where I was talking about Overlimit. But to be fair, Lloyd could still have combo as his mechanic, and he's still not deconfirmed as of this video. But man does it just feel scary to think of how close I came up with a mechanic that was then almost immediately shown off! Yes, I know the joke, Nintendo is still watching you CJ! And while I love that joke, it isn't accurate here as there's no way they could program it in within a week. It's just a little scary how coincidental it is that the timing nearly matches up for a mechanic that I was close to calling. Now, yes, there are big differences between the two, but the main similarities are the super armor on the smash attacks, at least. More speed, it disappears if you get KO'd or get a KO, or so they said, and it activates after a certain damage percent. The differences are the super armor isn't for every move, he gets an extra jump, his attacks are more powerful now, you get this for all of your stocks, and it is set for what percent you get it at instead of being random after 100%. He was already strong enough, did they really need to make him even more dangerous? And to that I say yes, because it really makes it feel like you're fighting a final boss character due to the higher difficulty. Alright, just wanted to get that out there. What do you guys think about Sephiroth and everything that goes with him? What did you like most about him? What don't you like? And do you think it's a little scary that I almost got that mechanic, but for the wrong character? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in another video. Later everyone!